Have you ever seen a Strata bungalow before? I mean, one in District 13, Dunsfold Drive. That's 4,000 odd square feet, comes with its very own private pool onto the market for just $4 million. Ready? Let's go. So this is the unit and we are on level one. This is a four-storey strata bungalow and it has a basement, level one, level two, and of course the attic. So let's go now to the floor plan and I'll show you all about this amazing bungalow. So it's 4,252 square feet, five bedrooms, five bathrooms across four levels. So basement all the way up to the attic. So let's begin with level one. You'll find that coming straight into the living room, it's just right beside the swimming pool and then there's the stairwell and then we go into the WC and you have an open island which is a dry kitchen, a wet kitchen and a yard to the back. So you can see that they've fully done up the kitchen. The house, in fact, is fully renovated. The wiring has all been done. These are all new ACs. You've got beautiful designer lights overhanging and this is a new island that's just been put in about two years. So this is an induction cooker, dry kitchen, obviously. So you've got also a black granite countertop going across. Then you've got this lovely square and checkered mosaic tiles that are so, so beautiful. European carpentry all across and below. Then there's fridge space just right over here. It's a big two-door fridge by the way. Then we're going into the wet kitchen. So the wet kitchen also has this pocket door with a glass panel in the middle for you to see through. And of course it comes with the induction cooker, hop over here, carpentry with the same theme and you've got uh, the sink over there. Then let me just show you around the back because this is a very useful space. If you wanted to put in a dishwasher, then there are power points over here and a big nook. And this is where exactly your dishwasher can go. So then there's also an open yard to the back, which, watch your step, we're coming out onto this outdoor deck. So it faces the pool over here and this is your neighbor's side because these are all strata bungalows. There's also a side gate just right over on this side which enables you to go out. There's a path that you can follow all the way to the side gate if you want to head out. So, right now, let me take you inside. So it's a very lovely space. Soon as you come back through into the dry kitchen, you have the WC. So in this powder room, you have lovely white marble running across the floors and the walls and then you have very beautiful black chic finishings to last. Now, let me show you into the dining space. The dining space is actually very functional because it overlooks the pool over here. You have sliding glass panels that can really open up and beyond that, there is this very lovely Juliet window, which is nice and communal. So if you're having guests over and the kids are just in the pool over here, so it's a very nice interactive space. Now let's close this up because I want to bring you into the living room. So just right over here, the owners are actually using this placement for their piano. You can do the same here or you can keep this open with a counter that will complement the open space because you can see you have this very lovely squarish living room and it is really very generous in space. So over in this corner, you can set up a very cozy living area with like long pieces of sofa just like this. Being back over there, you have the lovely big screen TV for all your friends and family to enjoy. And what we've did here is put in the white Venetian blind so you can get a little bit of privacy because this is just up front. It's actually an open yard area which originally was for gardening but now you can use it for storage or whatsoever. Put some potted plants out there if you wish. So now let's head up to level 2 and in this stairway you'll find that you have natural light streaming through from this window over here and the steps are all floating stairs which make it very beautiful and elegant. Let's go to the floor plan of level 2. So up on the stairwell, on the left you have the master and the master bathroom and to the right you have two good sized rooms both with ensuite. Okay, so let's go through the master first and you'll see that there are black door frames and very beautiful handles that have already been put in for you. So you can really save that rental cost. Come straight in and you'll see that there is a 
beautiful queen size bed fitting over here you actually have a lot of natural light streaming through from the top because they have a elongated window and then this is another sliding glass panel that enables you to just open this space up if you want ventilation and if you're wondering about privacy then you've got aluminium loops over here to shade this and of course for safety you have the Juliet window that really helps uh, for young kids then there's another glass panel over here overlooking outwards into the Australian school you can totally put in a work desk just like so if you're working from home then check out this beautiful wardrobe this was renovated nicely done very chic metallic black frame with a tinted glass frame going through this is another nook over here that they're using with wardrobe right over here but you can really fully enclose this with wardrobe space as well then check out the master bathroom so check out this lovely long bath cladded with marble running across the walls and the floors you've got granite for the countertop his and her sinks and you even have a demarcated shower and wc how cool is that so of course now let's go to the kids rooms just right across the hall if you find that the hallway is actually very bright it's because of the stairs and the natural light that seep through let's go into this one over here so straight through you have a common bathroom so both of them have this enclosable doors that slide all the way comes with a similar granite vanity counter and you have this tic-tac mosaic tiles that give them a little bit of character our owner has two daughters so they equally have one room each and both of them have this beautifully designed wardrobe that's really put in for them there's a nice study space over here this actually overlooks the back if you wanted to see you have privacy for the aluminium loops just like in the master bedroom and then there's a lovely single bed that's been put in over here let's go right across and check out the one for the elder daughter so straight through you have the bathroom which is similar to the one on the other side almost mirror image then we're coming into the space where you have natural light seeming through study space bed space wardrobe then you've got the fans and the acs again the acs are brand new let's go up to the third floor so the third floor is actually one of my favorite spaces in this house this is the third floor check it out up from the stairwell you have a nice family area and it opens into a roof terrace with an extended planter then to the rear you have a good sized bedroom that comes with a walk-in wardrobe bathroom and also a secret storage space to the back this is a very nice study space huh so this can be an entertainment area or an external office from the bedroom so whoever who's using this bedroom has almost like the whole floor you could even set the outside to be like a lounge area come an outdoor gym because you have this patio space which is very nice and lovely because along the side here you'll find that you have a planter that runs along that the owners have already decked up and if it were to come into a rainy day condition this awning can basically extend out all the way automated and retract if you want it to so let's go inside now I want to show you the room so this is a really good size room when you have the queen size bed already put in over here the window panels are over to the left if you wanted to you can open them up for ventilation ceiling fan is done brand new ac and then look at this beautiful black door with the black aluminium frame of full wardrobe one two three four five six doors that run all the way inside here and here's what i promise you that secret storage space so then there's the bathroom over here so because this is the attic level you find a little bit of inclination for the roof again the Kit Kat mosaic tiles to the back you've got a lovely vanity counter which is granite over here full mirror over here and you've got the standing shower quite generous space for a single person okay finally let's head down into the basement so down in the basement you have two car park lots a bomb shelter an open family area then a wc to the right and to the end you have a open yard a good sized bedroom and a detached bathroom and even under stair storage so here is that storage we promised and currently our owners is using it for all their shoes right over to the left over here is where you would usually enter and this leads you out into the car park where you have two lots 
and these are your own private lots leading you into the common bathroom over here have a quick look so this one services this entire floor plus the bedroom beside it then to our left here there is the bomb shelter that people typically use as storage a nice entertainment area over here where you can put in your playstation whatnot where you can kick back and watch movies with your family if you like then we're going into this bedroom and this is actually a very good size the whole house is actually a smart wired home where you can control the lighting the fans and the ACs all from the controller of your phone the ceiling height is actually great into this excess area and this is a extremely high ceiling so this is a void space that leads you all the way up where just right beside the pool was and let's go just right beside this pillar over here is actually an open yard check it out so in this open yard you have the WC this is more like a maid's quarters or a storage space because you have a huge high ceiling going you've got the fan over here and then on the other side of that wall from which we were just now you've got right now the washer and the dryer space fully put in for you Okay guys, let's talk about the amenities and convenience. So you got a whole list of reputable schools in the vicinity like St. Gabriel's, Cedar Girls, Maristella, just to name a few local ones, not to mention the international ones like Australian IS and the American International School. Transportation wise, there's Lorong Chuan MRT just 7 minutes walk away and your nearest bus stop is right after Braddo with these bus services. So for groceries and food and beverage, you can go to the new tech park where you have your supermarket, food court, restaurants, all just 3 minutes away. Or you could go to Nex or Chom Chom, which are 5 and 10 minutes drive away respectively. And if you're driving, then there's the CTE, PIE, Lonnie Road Highway, Bartley Highway. All of these are easily accessible to get you across the island. So if this feels like your next home, then smash that like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'll see you in the next video.